But on the issue of climate change, which they've been hitting really hard over the past few days, and fuel efficiency today, mm -hmm. I mean, how does that play in Michigan you know or Iowa I or Louisiana if, or Alaska? If he agrees to the Keystone Pipeline, it won't matter that he raised the fuel efficiency standard for trucks. The most important thing he can do for these Democrats, he can approve the Keystone Pipeline. Keystone is not going to help him in Kentucky. That's going to help Mary Landry. It's not going to help him in Kentucky. It's not going to help him in West Virginia. It's not going to help him anywhere in Appalachia. Look, the, real, the idea that they are going to pivot to climate change as a way to save these Senate seats is quite insane. The people who care about climate change are the people who are comfortable, who don't worry about a paycheck, who live on the coast and are in favor of an abstraction. It's the environmental left. Uh, and it includes those who believe, rather remarkably, that any unilateral American action is going to make any difference uh, on climate in any case. They are not found in the states, which the Democrats have to hold on to in the Senate. And that's why I simply can't understand why it's become a thrust of theirs. Perhaps because they can't run on the economy, on jobs and employment, and they can't run on Obamacare, so they really don't have anything else. I think if I were a Democrat, I would go to what worked in 2012, the minimum wage extension of unemployment as a way to, in some ways, undo the damage of Obama, Obama's own economic policies. But it worked in 2012, which was an unlosable election for the GOP, and they lost it. Okay, but